Hello, hello. We are finally here. The last palette in the Happy Hour collection. Now, as always, I want to show off the little case that it comes in. You sh should have seen these at least three more times in the last videos. This is what it looks like. Again, this is covered in plastic. Take off the plastic. Palette comes inside. So this one actually didn't break. So that's quite kind. That was nice. It's a nice little keepsake. But other than that, I don't really think this has much use. Now to this palette. Okay. What is going on? Seriously. I I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. Let's start with looking at this palette. All right, so this is the color story of this palette. There's of course, as the name kind of implies, chocolate martini. This is all browns. It's quite pretty. Um, I'm not a very neutral kind of gal, but I, I really, I, I enjoyed this color story. I also really like um, this top one up here, Happy Hour. I feel like it was a shade that some people didn't necessarily like a lot. But I really liked that it kind of broke away from the rest of these browns and oranges and kind of gave you the option to do a different kind of look. I feel like blues and browns go quite well together. Now when I was using this palette, it started off quite strong. So I usually start, I've been starting my palettes usually from um, I guess right to left. This time I decided to go from left to right, you know, facing towards me. And it was a very, very strong start. It, and ultimately, I think this is the only palette that actually worked. This was the only palette where pretty much every color, except maybe red, had a little bit of difficulty with that one, but even then it wasn't awful. Like this is, this palette is what I was expecting for $35 because I did buy this one at full price. It, it's, I don't think it was ever discounted. I think that it was only ever $35. As of right now, it is sold out. I don't think they'll bring it back. But this formula in this one, I don't know why it's not, you know, the same throughout all four. But this palette actually ended up performing on my eyes as it should have, period. Like, I think my favorite look, let's see, what were my favorite colors? My favorite colors from this palette I really liked Extra Lit. It reminds me of one of my Jeffree Star eye glosses. I'll have to look up what the name of that shade is. You know what? Let me go grab that Jeffree Star eye gloss. I want to compare them. All right, so we have here two eye glosses. One is the uh, Jaclyn, what's it called? This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Shimmer Top Coat. This is in Frozen. This one has been on sale on the Morphe website for the longest time, so if you wanted to get it, you still can. This is Wyoming Window. This is one of the eye glosses. Wyoming Window. And I kind of just wanted to compare because I really love, oh, it's definitely not the same. I really love browns with a silver shimmer. I feel like it's so unique pairing the warm shade with a sparkle that is cool. So I really liked, I think this might be the, my favorite one in here. I loved Extra Lit and this, this feels so nice and soft and it doesn't f have that same texture the other ones have because the other ones felt like they were like putty, which is why I kept comparing them to eye glosses because I was like, why, why is this in a palette? I don't understand. So this is Jeffree Star's Wyoming Winter, and I can see now that Wyoming Winter, the brown is much darker, but it's the same idea, I think, where it kind of has, oh, it's much darker. I think this one has both. Honestly, if I'm really looking at it, this one has both silver and gold sparkles, so that's not a good comparison, but there that is. These are just some of my favorite colors. Like I said, I really like these browns with a um, silver sparkle. So that was a fail because in my head I thought these colors were similar. They're not similar at all. Let's see, what can we compare to? Oh, ganache. So this is, um, let's see, Jaclyn Hill's Frozen. I think I could compare, again, 
this one's a, this one's darker, but I could compare it to ganache because ganache looks like it's a brown with just gold sparkle. So trying in my hands. Okay, so let's do ganache. This is a brown with gold sparkle. Actually, these look like almost the same too, but you can see the reflect is different. You can definitely see the gold in this one. And then we of course have our frozen one. Ooh, this one's so soft. Ooh, girl. Put that one right next to it. Ooh, she's actually warmer. So this is this one didn't swatch as well. Let me get a better one. Wow. Look at that shimmer. The main difference between the swatches from this palette and the other three are really insane. Like I thought I was going crazy. And thankfully, I just watched a video recently where Teresa's Dead reviewed the Scooby Doo collection, and she herself was saying like everyone loves glam light. She's like, but I can, I can't ever make it work for me. And I finally felt freaking heard because I'm like, I feel like everyone loves this brand, but no one will say anything about it. Another issue I wanted to kind of also quickly bring up is that these shades were not very lasting. Pretty much immediately after applying these to the eyes. Um, it started to like crinkle on my eyes and fold into them. So I think this would be a good palette for like everyday work or maybe you're not, you know, you're not trying to be super glam or high fashion or whatever. You're just, you're like, I want to wear makeup at work. I think it might be good for that, but it's not, it's not very long lasting. It's kind of just like a, I need to put some makeup on because I'm going to run some errands quickly. Even with, um setting spray with my usual foundation base within like two hours they start to fold up on my eyes so that's just something to note like I was saying I really happy I felt heard to know that it also wasn't working for her but I'm glad that the Scooby-Doo one did end up working for her I don't understand why the shades in this one worked but not in the other three the purple one was the worst that one, I could maybe use two of the shimmers. Um, the margarita palette. I don't think any of the pinks, anything that was pink leaning worked. Some of the colors were all right, and then a couple of them actually, I think, worked what they should have done. The last one with the green palette. Um, I feel like, for the most part, that palette worked quite well. But even then, I don't think the green one can compare to how well the brown ones in this one worked. Just to swatch, I want to swatch can't remember. I feel like it was Rich. That was the one that didn't work very well, but I'm going to swatch both Rich and Cheers. Rich is a more yellow leaning gold. Cheers is a more true gold kind of color. So let's do both of those. Yes. You can see the difference there. Rich is definitely a much brighter gold. Yeah, I don't think. I'm pretty sure Cheers was the one that actually worked. Look how beautifully Oh, this one was a bit more similar. You can't really see it. This one was rich. Was kind of more of the best in the in the worst palettes. Like not awful, but like it was. This shade is similar formula to the best shades in the worst palettes of this collection. If that makes sense. And in this palette, it's actually the worst one. There's a lot of glitter. Didn't swatch as intensely as the other ones. Let's grab my little light here. But they're overall very pretty. And of course, um, the mattes in here are lovely. I feel like they blended out pretty well. I don't think I've... When I've tried these glam light ones, I don't think I've had an issue ever with um, their mattes. It's mostly the shimmers because I love shimmers. I'm going to be using the shimmers 100%. And if I'm not using the shimmers in a palette, there's no point in keeping the palette. So out of the four, is this the best one? Absolutely fucking lovely. If I had to recommend any of these, this one. Yes. 
at this point you can't buy it anymore you would have to buy it from somewhere else or get it as kind of like a hand-me-down but I, at the same time there's nothing when you're looking at a palette of neutrals there's nothing too you know special about this palette that might make it different from maybe other palettes except maybe this happy hour I'll swatch this happy hour I think I quite like this one as well it has a nice shift to it it's got like a blue purple shift with a kind of brown underlining like That's a very nice special color. I think these two are my favorite. I kind of had a crisis using this collection. I didn't know why none of them were working, especially such an expensive price. Would I recommend buying this one at full price if you still could? I don't think so. I still don't feel like the quality of this palette equals to $35. Like that still seems on the high end especially for a palette that you know doesn't it's not licensing anything it's just the theme is cocktails like ugh. you know i'm trying a ultra ego palette right now i think i bought that for 18 dollars i get this for 18 dollars at that point it's pretty much a palette on sale but it's like how can an ultra ego palette that's like 18 dollars be equal to the quality of a 35 dollar palette i just feel like this is quite overpriced um, overall, I did enjoy the palette. I was happy to finally have something in this happy hour collection where I was like, okay, well, this is the one I'm definitely keeping. The other three, I'm kind of still up in the air about it. Um, the green martini one, I feel like did work, but I wonder if I really need it because I have so many green palettes. And I also have the Jeffree Star Blood Many palette, which Blood Many palette's definitely better, I feel like. So we'll see what ends up happening to those other palettes. Overall, I feel like this was, this is the good palette. This was the best of the four. Absolutely, without a doubt. I had a lot more fun creating looks with this because I was getting so exhausted of using palettes that were not working for me that I had to take a break from Glam Light. But this, this one kind of brought me back. This one made me hopeful. But unfortunately, this does make me feel like this brand is hit or miss. And it's got a lot of misses for me right now, so I don't know if I'll continue purchasing from Glam Light in the future. I love their color stories. The color stories look beautiful. I love a bright, bold look. But if this is the quality overall, looking at this entire collection that I've done, I just cannot recommend this brand. You, buy it on sale. You gotta try it for yourself. But this one, she is good to go. She's good. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day.